hanya gaung dendam dalam nada dan di kata-katanya. Aku tak tahan mendengar. Seandainya tak ada sifat pendendam itu, ah sungguh gemilang, Mingke. Baru aku bertemu seseorang, perempuan pula, yang tidak mau berdamai dengan dirinya sendiri. That is what Magda Peter said in Bumi Manusia. First, before we get into the talk, let me introduce myself. My name is Uwit Alia Minanda, and in this talk, I just want to discuss about one point. That is about Nyai Antasara lives after she being sold by her father. But can you guess why I choose that quote to open this talk? That is because our similarity is we are living in grudge. 17th May, there is the day that I had a vengeance. I want to be a rich girl. I want to revenge. Seriously, I really mean it. It started when I visited my friend at one of apartment in Bejaten. I came there by motorcycle. And when I asked the security about do I come to the right address or not, the security prohibit me and directly say, Temanmu orang Korea. Orang-orang yang tinggal di sini cuma orang Korea. Orang Indonesia yang tinggal di sini biasanya cuma pembantu. He didn't even tell me the right way. He just said that and that hurts me a lot. It doesn't happen to my friend who came by a car. They can enter the gate without hearing those words from the security. Did you see why do I really mad on that day? Because that security just hurts me. But by what he said. And now I know that sometimes money can affect a thing. Since that thing happens, I'm trying and I'm started to sell some stuff to get some money from that. Because I want to have a lot of money from that. And because also I want to be rich. And it's similar like Nyai Antasara. She lives in a grudge. As what Magda Peter said in the Mika. Like this. Um, when her father just told her to her man Malama, she knows that she is not her man Malama official wife. So she learned about Dutch language. She learned about how to manage a company. And she also learned how to dress up well. She does it really well because she knows that sometimes when she being kicked out from monochromo, she already had some deficit. But then the reality is her man Malama is even depend on her because Nya Tosoro do everything better than her man Malama does. And I think that point just show me that Nya Tosoro is trying to break the stigma that Most of Gundik are powerless and under uneducated. But then, she is different than the other girl Gundik. Why? Because she knows that she already become a Gundik and she cannot do anything except accept her position and become a prestige woman. It shows me that what you say and what you did to someone can affect it really huge for them. And even though my motivation to start my business is because what the security say, but at least I can use my money from my business to something beneficial and something good. I think that's also me about this book, Bumi Manusia and Die. And remember that sometimes each person has their own struggles and we cannot judge them about what they are. So. That's all for me. Thank you. Ku lihat ibu perti. 
sedang bersusah hati. Air matanya berlinang, mas intanya terkenang. 